future uh, policies of our movement are clearly outlined in our program. They talk of a mixed economy, uh, consistently democratic political system, and uh, foreign policy that's based on the national interests and independence of our country. Yes, but would that be different from what we know in the West about the ideology of your movement, or would you say now the situation is different because of the changes in the USSR, because of the changes in, in the area? I'm saying that the EPRTF is a democratic front. It's a united front. It has never been a Marxist organization. So there was a misunderstanding from the very beginning. I uh, would like to say that there are some Marxists in this front, but as a front, it's a democratic front, and the huge majority of its members are revolutionary Democrats, not Marxist Leninists. And the program that it fights for is not a Marxist program, it's a revolutionary democratic program. It How soon do you expect to have democratic elections, and will you have some sort of a UN supervision observers? How do you, how do you uh, look at it? This will be decided in the conference. The EPRDF at this time um, they, they do not want to, to decide the fate of the transitional government and the, the, the fate of the, the, the future country. The only thing EPRDF is doing is that uh, it's preparing to call the conference as soon as possible, and in the conference, the, uh, the, uh, the how long the transitional government w will be uh, will stay will be decided there. How do you how are you carrying on with the Eritrean authorities from government to government or in the old ways? What is the relationship at the moment? At the moment, uh, the relationship uh, between the Eritrean <coughs> provisional government and the Ethiopian provisional government here is very smooth. And we try it to be um, uh, smooth as it was, and uh, there is a good relationship. Uh, of course, in Eritrea there is a de facto provisional government, and here in Ethiopia also there is a provisional government. And both of them are uh, preparing the way towards uh, peaceful uh, uh, solution. A last question, what is the most urgent problem? Is this a political problem? Is this the security problem or is it the food problem? The most urgent uh, problems now are one, the security. Of course, it's now uh, being handled very, uh, very carefully and uh, very successfully. The second is the, the food problem. Uh, it's, uh, it's on the way of being <coughs> uh, resolved, but still many humanitarian needs is needed. Uh, and uh, the third problem is to, con to make continue the administration of the country, different administration uh, of the country. And we are uh, on the effect of that. And it's, it's been uh, successful, it's good on the way, uh, except that we still need uh, uh, some help, especially in the field of the 